hello guys um, i hope you are doing good um, this session is completely related to viper and we'll be breaking down uh, the whole session or the whole course uh, into multiple videos and so this is the first video uh, towards uh, viper development and in this video we will just um, set up a new project and 5 files which are required for the Viper before entering into Viper development uh, I hope you guys have uh, came across different uh, architectures uh, for example MVC or MVVM if not uh, don't stress uh, we just need the knowledge of class uh, protocols how class interacts with another class how protocols interacts with another protocols and how class interacts with protocols so basically these are the few things we require and if not we will study all those things um, in later videos um, by performing each step in detail so for now let's start uh, with the new pigment uh, let's create a new project uh, it will be single view application click next uh, let's say the product name is sample click next uh, okay So, first we'll all right. So now we'll just see whether a project is building up or any errors happen. So there was no error, and the build happened successfully. So basically, your uh. Just check everything is good. So, the few files which export uh, already makes, and this thing is called uh, boilerplate. So, what is boilerplate basically? Um, these are few functions, and in those functions, uh, there are comments and you know save context this is for core data and everything so this is nothing but boilerplates so pre-made codes available so those are called boilerplates for now uh, we have the view controller this is the main view controller so this will be called after uh, our launch screen happen and after launching that finished with everything uh, we uh, we open the view controller and uh, the view controller uh, must be in viper so we will quickly create five files for this view controller and also i'll be changing the name of this view controller uh, so the view controller will be on the main storyboard so the class file is so the class file is view controller all right and this is the only uh, storyboard we have currently and i do know that 
uh, we'll be starting our project from the main storyboard so this is our main uh, main interface we need to provide the storyboard information which will be the first storyboard to be executed so main is the first storyboard we'll be executing we have the view controller and let's just create the whole view controller <coughs> the wiper simple task so we we'll go and uh, initially we we'll, first of all I don't want this name so we'll be writing um, calculator bc okay so we'll be creating um, the whole calculator not the whole calculator uh, just few things um, I'll show you uh, with the help of the view for now uh, we'll be creating a calculator um, so basically I need okay. uh, I'm just gonna go and copy paste all this Last name, whatever required. So there is no view controller now. Basically, the new view controller is this, and also, also for now, uh, whenever adding a class name here, make sure you also add the storyboard ID as the same the class name file uh, we'll be discussing something about this later on when we create a wire trip. Uh, for now uh, just remember um, whenever we try uh, to uh, bind a view controller uh, with the class uh, we also provide the entity of the same uh, class name and, uh, Um, so we we'll, we'll won't be doing anything on the view controller now um, since this session is completely related to creating the files so in the sample we we'll right click and we'll create new group so this group name is ui so we'll be creating all those uh, you uh, all those viper files in UI group and we create another group that is called the calculator alright and now we just this thing up here and the story would have name for this thing so we here also I also wanted to rename the main story board for now that is okay and we create a new file again so I already created a calculator calculator VC and we'll be creating another file that is calculator presenter another <coughs> empty file and we'll create three more files now I'm so sorry right, so I'll create one more file now that is um, calculator Protocol. 
the last file I need is calculator. Alright, so these are the five files one, two, three, four, and five. So these are the five files which we are uh, gonna create the whole Viper architecture with, and uh, a diff uh, another file that is completely uh, different. Uh, this very good. <coughs> Okay, and uh, so this Viper is a modified Viper kind of. Uh, since uh, V stands for View Controller, that is the view. Uh, I stands for Interactor, V I. Uh, P stands for Presenter, and the E of Viper stands for Entity or Model. And uh, since we don't have any Entity or Model right now. And uh, even if there were entities and models, we, we would have separately created another group called as model. We would have put all those models up there uh, so that I have a centralized model and I can access those models from anywhere. But for now, I, uh, we don't prefer that or those things uh, since we want our models to be more flexible uh, in the whole project. So for that, uh, instead of making the viper you know our viper v i p p e r sorry so we are creating a new viper uh, our own uh, according to our own requirement that is v i p p r so this stands for view interactor Center Entity and Router But uh, in the new uh, we have the same that is U is also called as U Adapter is the same, presenter is also the same. Entity, we don't have any entity, so we'll write good about it. Uh, is the same. So, I hope you got this point that we are trying to create something analogous. Uh, at this point, we are trying to create a custom um, architecture. Uh, that is VAPPR Viper and uh, that is application to Viper itself that is a pure Viper only and let's get started uh, so I have created those five files simple files and uh, we will do um, a quick thing that is just create class in those files and this is the only thing uh, we will be doing now so plus calculator plus enter okay and just copy those things this is not a presenter uh, protocol we don't need to we don't need to create a class so protocols are basically uh, it's just a file uh, which consists of multiple protocols uh, so protocols I'll just write one simple protocol we not discuss here this is just to show what is the protocol so protocol for protocol vc so calculator vc protocol 
hundred and go with the class because uh, we gonna extend this protocol to a class and this protocol will have a function let's say uh, refresh UI something okay. so basically uh, this protocol for uh, this protocol file may have multiple protocols and uh, uh, for now we are just writing it uh, this is just for demonstration purpose that uh, what this file gonna be having so for now uh, just keep it like this and we will have a look later on uh, what is inside it all right and uh, for now uh, just keep it like that and let's go to our uh, wireframe let's create class okay later so simply what we have done so we have one uh, storyboard uh, which have one VC that is calculator VC uh, so first file is the calculator VC which is extended to URB controller and we have the lifecycle function here the another class is presenter and this is completely empty for now we have interactor which is completely empty for now protocol uh, just for demonstration purpose we have created one protocol uh, we will be doing more protocols here um, just to show what is happening um, if you want to know uh, what we are gonna do with this protocol simply so this is a VC protocol alright so we go to calculator VC uh, see we have uh, finished our class here so even not exactly leaving few spaces um, this is just for demonstration purpose uh, I'm just saying again so extension to calculator VC and we gonna extend this class with calculator VC protocol yes the spelling is wrong and we go to fix the spelling And we'll be having so it says the build now. So it says um, calculator VC does not confront to protocol calculator VC protocol. Let's have a look. Um, so it doesn't want to confront the protocols. Do you want to add those protocols? Fix it. So yeah, we added the protocol uh, refresh UI alright and let's write print um, in the comment section uh, into the print alter time to print uh, let's try to refresh now okay. so this is a basic uh, overall uh, what we're gonna do now thank you so much uh, we'll be continuing with uh, the another session um, which will be related to um, how protocol will be interacting to uh, these files what is the main aim of looking at protocol files so for now um, we are closing uh, at this part the next session will be starting soon Thank you so much.